Hi friends, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about C program for GCD of two numbers without using a recursion. In the previous videos, we are already discussed about GCD of two numbers using a recursion. If anybody wants, please refer that video in my YouTube channel. Now, in this video, what is the logic we have to follow to find out the GCD of two numbers without using a recursion? Let us consider two integers. First integer is A, that value is a 60. The second integer, that is B, it contains value 40. Okay. A and B are two integers. Variable A contains 60 and variable B contains 40. Now, variable A contains a 60 and variable B contains 40. Now, we can go for the logic of GCD of two numbers without recursion. So, while a not equal to B, if this condition is true, then the control goes to the body of the value. In that body of the value, if statement is there, if A greater than B, if this condition is true, then the statement within the if block is executed. The statement is A equal to A minus B. Suppose if this condition is a false, then the control goes to the next statement after the if block. So that is the else block. The statement within the else block is B is equal to D minus A. Okay. So then while loop is closed. After while loop, we have to write. So printf. GCD of GCD of given two numbers is given two numbers is percentage D slash and double quotes and comma A. A. Okay. So this is the logic we have to follow for finding out the GCD of two numbers without using a recursion. Okay. Now, our tracing our logic by taking the A value is a 60 and the B value is 40. First, while A not equal to B, that means A value is a 60, 60 not equal to 40. Yes, 60 not equal to 40 condition true. If this condition is true, then the control goes to the body of the of while loop. In that body of the while loop, first if statement is there, if A greater than B, so 60 greater than 40, yes, 60 greater than 40, condition true. If this condition is true, the control goes to the statements within the if block are executed. So this is the if block, in that if block, uh, only one statement is that A is equal to A minus B. So A value is a 60 minus B value is 40. So 60 minus 40. So that means 20. So value 20 is stored in the uh, variable A. Okay. So after that, if block is executed, then we have to skip the else block. Okay. After executing the if block, what is the A value? A value we are getting is 20. And what is B value? B value is 40. There is no change in B value. Again, control goes to the while loop. Again, we have to check the condition. Here, what is A value after completing the first iteration? What is A value? A value is 20 and B value is 40. 20 not equal to 40. Yes, condition true. If this condition is true, then the control goes to the 
body of the while loop in that body of the while loop so first if condition is there if a value is 20 greater than b value is 40 20 greater than 40 so 20 greater than 40 is condition is false if this condition is false then control goes to the next statement after the if block after the if block else statement is there so the control goes to the else statement and execute the statement within the else block so in the else block what is statement is there b is equal to b minus a so what is b value b value is a 40 a value is a 20 40 minus 20 so that is equal to 20 okay so after executing the statements within the else block b value is updated now b value is 20 okay so after completing the second iteration of the while loop a value is 20 and b value is 20 again control goes to the while loop while a not equal to b so here a value is 20 b value is also 20 20 not equal to 20 that is false if this condition is false, then the control goes to the next statement after the while loop. While loop starts here, while loop ends here. So the next statement after the while loop is this one. Printf GCD of given two numbers is percentage D slash and double quotes and comma A. What is A value? A value is 20. So therefore 20 is printed. So output is GCD of given two numbers is a 20. So GCD of given two numbers, two numbers is 20. So 20 is printed. So this is the a logic we have to follow for getting the GCD of two numbers without using a recursion. Okay. Now we have to write the program. Hash include stdio.h Hash include coniv.h Standard input output header file Console input output header file Next, void main Every C program execution starts with the main function. Main function does not return anything so that we have to write void before the main function. Void is an empty data type. Next, int a comma b. So a and b variables can be declared as integer variables. Next one, clr scr clear screen function it clears the output screen this function is available in the header file called hash include coniv.h so that we have to include this header file to our program next one printf enter a and b values enter a and b values these a and b values are read from the keyboard by using scanf function. So scanf, we have to write the format string percentage %d because a and b variables can be declared as integers. So that we have to write two percentage %d's double quotes and comma ampersand a comma ampersand b. So A and B values are read from the keyboard. Okay. Now, both printf and scanf functions are available in the header file called hash include stdio.h so that we have to include this header file to our program. Next one, now we have to write the logic. While A not equal to B if this condition is true, then the control goes to the body of the while loop and execute the statements within the body of the while loop. If this condition is false, then the control goes to the next statement after the while loop. 
in the body of the while loop we have to write if a greater than b if this condition is true then the statements within the if block is executed a is equal to a minus b suppose if this condition is false then control goes to the else block and execute the statement within the else block b is equal to b minus a so then after that while loop is close okay so if this condition is false then the control goes to the next statement after the while loop so after the while loop printf statement is there so printf gcd of two numbers two numbers is so percentage d slash n double quotes n comma a next one get ch main close so this is the program for finding out the gcd of two numbers without using a recursion in the output screen first this statement is printed enter a and b values so here we are entering two values a value is a 60 space b value is 40 so 60 and 40 we are entering after that press enter then we are getting the output after executing this logic gcd of two numbers is 20 so 20 is printed okay so this is the program Okay, now we can go for the implementation. Now we can see the implementation of GCD of two numbers without using a recursion. The program and logic is already explained. Now we have to verify that whether this program gives the correct output or not okay now first we have to save that program again we have to compile the program for compiling the program we have to use the command called alt plus f9 we are getting zero warnings and zero errors after that press enter again we have to run the program for running the program we have to use the command called control plus f9 so then control goes to the output screen in the output screen it can ask enter a and b values i am giving 60 60 45 okay so press enter so gcd of 60 and 40 is 15 okay again once again we have to run the program enter a and b values 60 40 okay so gcd of these two numbers is 20 next again we have to run the program enter a and b values 80 and 60 okay press enter so gcd of given two numbers is 20 okay so this is the output of the program so thank you thank you one and all for watching this video if you like this video, please click on the like button and share this video to your friends and classmates. Don't forget, please subscribe my YouTube channel, Divvela Srinivasarao. If you have any doubts, please put your doubts in the comment box. I will clarify your doubts.